Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video, and today we're going to be checking out the brand new NECA toys straight from their Mirage Comics toy line, which is just taken off this year. It's quite awesome to see. This is the new Foot Enforcer, the kind of heavy-duty muscle of the Foot Clan, and all over the sides of the box, you got glorious Kevin Eastman artwork, and on the back side, nice photos of said Enforcer. Very cool. Sort of the colorized styling. I would not be surprised if you see this guy later down the road in different colors, comic colors, black and white, yada yada. And here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode as well. They are starting to hit Best Buy store shelves now, and I will have links down in the description below if you want to go ahead and order one off of their app. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles straight from the Mirage Comics toy line, the Foot Enforcer by NECA Toys. Now, once you go ahead and undo those million and one twisty ties, you're finally able to pull forth the figure and all of the accessories and the extra hands. And speaking of which, you get some karate chopping martial arts hands with his rhinestone Hot Topic gear on the backside. They're painted nicely for the most part. These hands, though, they're very special. Now, these are weapon holding hands, of course, but... He's definitely throwing up some devil horns right there. He's like at a rock concert. And you got some fisted hands as well. These are all skin, by the way. They're not gloves. So he's very much painted in this moody sort of coloring, along with all his longer giant weapons with some flappy bits on one side here. Those aren't going to break off. That's nice to see. But towards the blade at the top with these little spiky things go very easy on those. But it's painted well, along with this three-way nunchuck business right here however and whatever you call that but it's painted nice and it looks nice and you got a smaller sword complete with some well for lack of a thing spiked brass knuckles on one side right you could say that and you got this really long katana which again all the weapons are painted quite beautifully i have to say i like this very moody blue coloring and it looks great on the foot enforcer and he's just painted beautifully like you would expect a NECA toys and the more colorized TMNT versions should be he's got some blacks he's got some nice fading gradients here and there so I definitely dig it he very much stands out as a shadowy figure right complete with all his haunt topic gauntlets and whatnot now if I had to nitpick anything and it's just something that kind of struck me when you kind of pose him out if you look at the artwork he has more sinister slit eyes right you can kind of see that in the red right there on the actual figure he just kind of looks like hey my name's Doug you know what I mean I think the artwork is a lot more sinister whereas the figure doesn't necessarily reflect that mood also now in looking at the artwork i kind of wish that he came with two of those blades so you could recreate what you're seeing on the box but he does make up for it with quite a bit articulation for this type of character he has a bit of a a gummy hooded thing going on so you can move his head around the arms will only go up so high because of these massive shoulder pads right here they don't move they're glued into place so you can only get him up about that much which you also have to think he's less of the more agile foot soldiers and more of a brick wall with knives, if you think about it that way. But he does have double jointed elbows, but it'll kind of knock right there into his bicep. And then right here on the gauntlet. Now, this is an action figure. I totally get it. But I wish you could spin the entire gauntlet along with the wrist. That way you could just kind of better match it up. Unless those all move and I have no idea what I'm talking about. But I'm just saying, aesthetically pleasing now in the waist nothing much of an ab crunch but he will spin at the waist and he will kick out with his little skirt piece right there allows for some good movement he won't kick up too high of course like i said he's more of that brick wall sort of figure but he does have double jointed knees but go very easy i didn't have to heat anything up but they were a little bit stuck on both sides there won't be anything of movement let's say at the calf but you can move around the feet and it will rock to and fro along with peg holes on the bottom if you want to display them proper so overall i will tell you 
uh, uh, color-wise and articulation-wise is pretty darn cool. But it's really the weapons that bring this guy to life, especially when displaying him with the Ninja Turtles. Especially when you display him with the new Lawson Mirage Turtles. They look great together. But it is cool because you can pair him up with the foot soldiers from your collection. You can swap out the accessories between all of them, and that is always fun to see. You can really weaponize the heck out of these figures. And just for fun, yeah. Uh, on his off time, maybe they're rocking out at a rock concert sponsored by the Foot Clan. Who knows, right? I just love that. <laughs> Always fun when toys do goofy things. But that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys, Mirage Comics, TMNT lines, the Foot Enforcer, and more of that blue, somber sort of color tone. And like I said, They've been doing all kinds of colorways for all these different types of figures, so I wouldn't be surprised later on if you see the more, we'll say, well, classic would be black and white, but let's say the more shredder eyes look at colors and who knows what else. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Mirage TMNT, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, yeah, Best Buy is where to get them. Go figure. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.